At approximately 12 noon on Sunday, officers from LAPD Central Area Station were dispatched to the 500 block of South San Pedro. They were dispatched to a citizen report of a robbery call. Upon arrivals, officers and a supervisor made contact with the victim who directed them to a suspect's location. When, a, when police approached the suspect, he repeatedly refused to comply with officers' commands and then began to fight with them. During the altercation, officers used tasers in an attempt to subdue the man. However, the tasers appeared to have little effect and he continued to violently resist. While on the ground and struggling with the officers, the man forcibly grabbed one of the officer's holstered pistols, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Officers immediately summoned Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics to the scene, who determined the man was deceased. Two of the officers involved in the incident sustained injuries. They were treated and released from area hospitals. One is on crutches at this moment and is recuperating at home. As with all officer-involved shootings, LAPD Specialized Force Investigation Division responded to preserve and collect evidence and to interview witnesses to the shooting. As you know, portions of this incident were captured on video from various sources, including two body-worn cameras on officers at the scene. These will be reviewed and analyzed as part of the ongoing investigation. The officers involved in this incident are assigned to our Safer Cities Initiative in Central Area and are specially trained on dealing with homeless people and mental illness issues. Several of the officers had participated and completed our most extensive mental illness training over a 36-hour course. All of the officers had had training to some extent in dealing with the mentally ill. Photos of the officer's pistol are on my right. As you can see, the slide is partially engaged and around has been partially ejected and has fouled the firing chamber. This is indicative of a struggle over the weapon. As you can also see, the magazine is dislodged from its resting place. This is also indicative of force used on the weapon. This is an extreme tragedy. We feel great compassion in the LAPD for people who live in conditions of homelessness, and often mental illness with no treatment. We prepare our officers to deal as best they can with them, but the reality is this is much more than a problem that the police alone can solve. I've reviewed the other videos. It appears to me the officers acted compassionately up until the time when force was required. Based on what you know now, does it appear to you that the officers acted justifiably when they fired shots at this man? Part of my role as chief of police is to uh, adjudicate these investigations. And it would be inappropriate for me to go that far and to, to make a statement about the propriety of this incident until I have seen all the evidence. I have reviewed the, uh, I have reviewed the video and the audio. And um, preliminarily, uh, it, uh, you can hear the young officer who is, uh, the, 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 is primarily engaged in the confrontation, uh, saying that uh, he has my gun. He has my gun, and he says it several times. So he has my gun, not dropped Well, and, I, and I've heard it, other audios that sound a little dissimilar, but the, the one that I heard the most clear is the officer saying he has my gun, and he says it several times with conviction.